Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma LaFave and today we are doing part two of painting animals that scare me. If you watched the last video, you know that I painted the first two of the four that I randomly picked out out of this little jar. It's a plant pot. Either way, I didn't have enough time to put all of the four animals into that video. It took over an hour to do. So we are doing the second two animals today, which are a hedgehog and a koala, both cute and furry. And they kind of terrified me to do, but I did it. So now I'm gonna show you how. This video is all in real time and I show you my whole sketching process and painting and kind of go through of how I figured out how to paint them. And I don't wanna spoil it completely, but I think I did an all right job. So let's jump right in. Okay, so let's move on to our next two fun little animals. Let's start out with our, our hedgehog friend here, who is also very cute. Um, all right, okay. So this is a little harder because I don't really see a distinct head shape, um, but we are going to wing it. So I'm just, go again, gonna start off with a circle. Okay, it's more like a, an ovally shape, just like that, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna place where I want the nose. So it has this kind of like pointy out nose um, so I'm just going to do this part that's around the nose and the mouth area. So a smaller circle inside. And then our little nose kind of looks like a, a rat or a bat or something like that. Okay. That's, that's where we're, mm, is that where we're starting? Mm, I feel like I could be down a bit further. It's a weird angle of this photo. Okay. This little nose thing and then the mouth is going to come out from behind doesn't have to be perfect that's what i'm trying to tell myself all right then at the top of the nose area where it would come back we have the eyes so i'm just going to place the eyes here one on that side one on that side all right and then the ears are kind of right kind of like in a diagonal line for each of the eyes so i'm going to do a little boop here <laughs> and a little boop here all right and then the fur from the face kind of comes out around like that such an odd animal like that and then this white kind of fur kind of comes around okay so this belly is going to kind of come hanging down here it's just a weird angle it has these little feet kind of sticking out here, little, little tiny little feet, these little nails, just really weird. Okay, and then this white fur comes behind, comes behind this way, it's a fat little hedgehog, and then we have the big quills that kind of come up and around. This one might be a bit more difficult, but we'll see. Okay. I feel like that's a bit bigger than I wanted it to be. Okay, now I'm going to erase. Bring this guy down a bit more. Because it's lighter here. So I don't want those pencil marks underneath. So I can still kind of see. Okay. And again, I'm just going to start off with like this beige brownie color so er, earned bunder burnt umber watered down quite a bit and i'm just gonna go over kind of the whole area where this light whitish fur would be okay not the ears just throwing it on there Okay, and then I'm just gonna kinda flick it to get that little furry kinda outline texture. All right, so it's a bit more brown on the nose, so I'm just gonna grab a bit more burn umber. 
around where we drew that kind of circle-y part and I'm just gonna let it bleed a bit. I'm gonna try and contain it here. Again, I'm tr I don't have a lot of water on my brush and I just have like the slightest amount of pigment. I'm on a bit around the eyes too. It has that kind of brownish. So I'm just gonna kind of like go around the eyes like that. All right. Okay, so there. I'm gonna grab a bit, little bit of the black and kind of mix it with the burnt umber and I'm just gonna go and drop some darker brown underneath because that would be kind of like a shadow and just do some like little lines so it looks like little bits of fur are sticking out there just to kind of outline it a bit because that's kind of like a shadow. All right, now I'm going to do the fur, should I let that dry? I don't know. Yeah, no, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to grab burnt umber, mix it with, with, with the black. I'm going to do white quills over top. So I think I'm going to start off with just doing a darker brown over here. I'm going to go around the ears. We'll do the ears after. And if it bleeds a little bit into that beigey color, that's okay. Try not to let it bleed too much. I'm using my size six brush, by the way, in case I didn't mention that. Okay, just going around. And then as I get closer to the out, outer parts, I'm just gonna use my brush, drag out that color to get these like spiky little quills. For the outline and it looks like kind of like up close like these quills are they go from like brown to black to brown to black it's kind of cool like each individual quill so I'm gonna go drop in more burnt umber and just do some wet on wet kind of spikes which will bleed out and it will look kind of more blurry just so we can kind of get some multiple colors in there. And then I'm gonna grab some black, make it a bit darker and also go in. Just tr The key is to try not to have too much pigment on your brush. Because if you have lots of pigment, lots of water, that's when it kind of explodes everywhere and takes over. And that's where water control really comes in. And it's something that you'll just eventually get with painting more and more and more. You'll get that feeling of I know how much water and paint I need on my brush. But if you're doing like smaller, so here I'm trying to achieve smaller little lines that are also blurry, right? So I'm not gonna put too much water or pigment on my brush. If I wanna cover a big surface area, I'll have more water on my brush. And if you're ever unsure, just tap your, your brush on your paper towel and then it will kind of give you an indication of how much water and pigment you have on your brush. All right, this is dry now, so I'm just gonna lightly, with a little bit of color, go around this nose part with that brown. And then I'm gonna wash and dry off my brush and I'm just gonna blend it out a bit. So it's not like a sharp, sharp line. Go around the eyes. Again, wash off my brush, dry it, get that pigment off. And I'm gonna blend it out so it kind of looks like it's blending out into the face. Okay, and then I might grab a bit more. It's a bit darker right around where the nose is. You can even do some fur lines coming back tiniest amount of pigment on your brush. This thing looks like a hamburger or something. <laughs> the shape of it is so weird. And I'm just using my dry brush with the tiniest amount of pigment just to get some of that, that texture again, breaking up the bristles in my brush. Like 
that. It will look a bit better, I promise. Okay, and everything's pretty much like dry because I didn't use so much water and pigment. Um, so now I'm gonna go and do the ears. I'm gonna grab some sepia, which is a darker brown. And I'm gonna go around the top of the ears. And I'm gonna make like little hair lines like that beige hair is kind of overlapping the ear. Okay. Okay, just doing little tiny marks so it looks like that beige is going over top or you can go on top of it after with like some white or something. And then while this part is dry, I'm gonna do some darker quills and it'll make it look sharper because the bottom is dry. The first round we did wet on wet and that just kind of provides different colors and shadows that are blurry. And then when you do wet on dry, you get those sharper lines. Again, I'm not worrying about too much about making this like super um, realistic or anything. And then it looks like the quills come down here a bit more. Once we add in the eyes, it will look better. Always looks better with animals once you add in those eyes. I'm just adding a little bit of black into the ears to make it a little bit darker in here. Okay. Now, is this dry? No, it's not dry yet. Um, hmm. feel like okay yeah let's let the the nose area dry and then we'll go in and do the little face okay so now that's dry I'm going to go in and do the face I'm going to go in with my marker again or my pen just because I feel like I get the most um control with a pen so I'm going to start off with the eye I'm going to do a circle their eyes are fairly circular make sure they're kind of like the same size I'm going to leave a little highlight in there okay on the other side I'll leave a little highlight even though you don't really see it in the photo <laughs> it looks a little dopey that's okay um, and then I'm gonna do the nose with this too so let's start off with like a circley shape and the nostrils are a little bit darker slash lighter. I don't know. It's a weird, weird nose. He's cute though. Or she, whatever it is. There we go. They also have little whiskers too. I didn't know that. Maybe I'll do a little bit of the mouth with my pen like that. Okay. So now I'm going to take my size two. I'm gonna go in with some of the burnt umber so we can do a little bit more detail on the face. And I'm just gonna do, cause their noses are so pointy, I'm gonna do lines kind of coming back to give that illusion that it's coming, it's going backwards. And I'm gonna do some little hairs around the eyes. Maybe a little bit of black too in there. Oops, now he looks angry. Nope. <laughs> there we go. Flicking it up here. Do some hairs coming off the face. I feel like I could be a bit darker around the nose. Dry brush. And the mouth too. He looks cute though. These are turning out a lot cuter than I thought they would. Maybe animals aren't so scary. I just always avoid them. Let's do some little pink feet. Grab some brown, just to outline. They have these like nails too. Not worrying too much about that. Cute. You can do those little whiskers with the tiniest amount of pressure. I 
like that. I feel like I could add a little bit of like shape around the eyes. Like that. Okay. And then last but not least, we are going to take some white. So you can grab some white watercolor, white gouache, white, whatever you have, white gel pen. And I'm just going to do the top of the quills all over because the top is white. Doing the stuff I don't have patience for. <laughs> Okay, this is going to be a long video. And there we go. There's our little hedgehog. He's cute. I like it. I like it. Okay. It's not bad. I'm not too fond of it, but it's, it's not bad. He looks, he looks like a hamburger. It's fine. Okay, and then lastly, we are going to do a koala. Um, all right, this is the picture I have. Um, koalas look a little bit more intricate and it makes me a little bit nervous, but we're gonna do it. All right, I'm gonna move this guy up. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with my sketch. Yeah, this one makes me nervous. Okay, let's start off with our circle head. Okay, here's our circle head, and it kind of ends up having bigger cheeks. I'm going to do the top here. It's a little bit flatter, and then I'm going to come out and make these, like, bulbous cheeks off of this circle. Okay, then it has its fuzzy ears. Fuzzy ear. Okay, and then about halfway down the face is that big nose. Such a funny nose. Like that. Mm, it has to be more to that side. I feel like just the angle of this picture. And then the eye. Eye. This one's on an angle a bit more. I feel like you don't know how weird animals look until you have to draw them. This looks crazy, but it's fine. Okay. Like that. Okay. Hello, koala. All right. Now his arm is going to come down and up on this like tree stump branch thing. And come back up and around. And his little hand claws thing. One, two. His fingers like are quite spread apart. So weird. Like that. That eye is really giving me nightmares here. It's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do this little stump thing that he's on. Like this and then his knee kind of comes out here with his butt and his foot with the claws one two three it's weird okay it's fine and then the other leg is over here like that and you kind of see claws over here. One, two, three. And then this hand is like up here, which is funny looking. Two, three, four. Okay, okay. We got kind of our, our sketch. Face is giving me nightmares. It's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna try and erase as much as I can just because he is a light gray. So you will see these sketches underneath. It's all good though. All right, let's, let's start. 
I feel like next time, if I do this again, if you guys want to see another one, we're going to pick more colorful animals at random. I'm going to put like a bunch of colorful animals in the pot because these guys are all like brown and grays and they're cute, but I want to do something fun with color. So, okay. So really watered down black and I'm just going to cover our little friend here. Just adding more water to my brush. Okay, and we're just gonna start off with the head and the ears. I'm gonna miss that nose and the mouth area. My husband's sneezing downstairs, bless you. All right, so we got our gray color for the head here. I'm gonna just blend that out a bit more. I feel like it's a bit darker than I wanted, but that's okay. Then I'm gonna, mm, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mop this up. Hold on. And I'm just gonna add water so it's a bit lighter because I wanna go darker on top. There we go. That's a lighter color. Okay. Now I'm gonna grab a bit more pigment and I'm gonna go around the face a bit like that. Make it a little bit darker here in this ear, a little bit darker here in this ear. This is just kind of plopping in those shadows there. Okay, and a little bit of textures. Like that. And it's pretty light in colors. Oh, that's dry. There we go. Okay. There we go. Now let's do his body. So his chest is pretty white. So I'm going to do again wet on wet. This is kind of how I do my animals. Cover the whole thing with water. Okay. It has like the tiniest shade of gray, like a little bit of black, just so you can kind of see it. Okay, I'm gonna leave this part whiter. You can always go in with white ink over top if you need to. And I'm just gonna kinda go around the shape of the koala. Just adding little bits of that black in there. Just kinda dabbing it in to let that texture kinda flow. You can always pick up pigment if you need to, if it went places you don't want to, it's just your dry brush. Oh my goodness. My husband doesn't realize that you can hear him blowing his nose downstairs. <laughs> That's really loud. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna do more textures with the hair on top. We're just planting in those little shadowed areas. Okay, all right. So now we're gonna let this guy dry and then we'll come right back. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab my size six brush and then have it mostly dry on my paper towel. I'm gonna grab up some of that black pigment. Again, I'm gonna do some dry brush action, just dipped on my paint or my paper towel a little bit, just so we can do some of that fur texture a bit. Again, not too much. I'm not worrying too much about the texture. And to get your brush back into shape right after, just wet it and lay it flat. Kind of move the brush, the bristles how you want them to dry. This isn't the best thing for your brush, but you can always fix it. Okay, and I'm just getting that dry brush action. Okay, this one I'm not gonna do too, too much detail on. Okay, let's let's go into the face. Let's do this little guy's face. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the nose. I'm just grabbing my black. And I'm gonna do the outline of the nose. I'm gonna wash off my brush, go in with a bit lighter black. There's a bit more of a shadow underneath, so then I'm going to grab more black, make it a bit darker at the bottom. Like that. Okay. 
And then it's kind of like pinky colored. So I'm just grabbing a little bit of the light pinky peach color. I'm just adding it under here to this like chin bottom lip part. Like that. Um, I'm going to let that dry. We can do a bit more defining like little hairs around the face. I don't know how this one's going to turn out, to be honest. A little bit darker here. Let's get the dry brush thing going again. I want it a bit more furry like. Oops. This is not going as well. <laughs> it's fine. And there goes my dog, because there's someone at the door. Oh. Oh, I'm getting a new office chair. It's here. Oh my gosh. My lovely dog. Doing everything he can to protect the house from the evil person who's bringing me my new office chair. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to go in a little bit darker here. Separate that leg kind of here. And I'm also going to do this with white too. Okay. I'm going to go around the fingers a bit. Just outline them in that light gray. And then the feet. Okay, I'm gonna grab more black and get those. Actually, no, I'll do the nails after because I'm gonna do the the branch first. Well, let's do the eye because I feel like he's lacking a bit. All right, let's do this one's a bit more of like a. Eh, no, we'll just. We'll make it a circle-y color, color, shape. It's fine. It's fine. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's do our circles. I'm going to color it in. Leave a little bit of white. I don't know if I like this koala, guys. That's okay. Okay. Now we're going to go back in with our size 2 brush. We're going to do a bit more detail. So it looks like they have pretty big, like, not eyelids, but parts around their eye. So I'm just doing this, like, semicircle kind of thing. <laughs> and then around like that. I'm going to do a little bit of fur coming around this hair, the nose. It's almost like there's a little bit of pinky bits under the eye here. It's weird. Okay. And then the mouth, a little bit of pink. Do these look weird, guys? I don't know. He's not my favorite. I'll tell you that. I feel like he looks a little odd. Going around the mouth. I feel like because these are such like furry animals, it could use more detail for sure with hair, but I just don't have the patience for this. Um, hmm. I feel like he could use more fur on the face or something. Nah, that looks weird. Ugh. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's just do the nails. I don't know how I feel about our friend here. Oh yeah, I want to do the branch first. That's what was my that's what I was talking about before. Derp. Okay. Let's get our brown for our little tree climber here. This is going to be one crazy long video. Bit 
our darker brown add some texture to that tree there we go grab our black nails for our koala there we go you know what i feel like this one could like use some actual black oops, outline just to kind of make it a bit stand out a bit more just because he's so light like really really rough this is kind of like when i do outline some animals sometimes i like to You know what I mean? Just because he's so light. But I'm doing it in a rough kind of way. Loosely. I feel like that already looks a bit better. Let's make him smile a little bit. <laughs> See what I mean about the outline? Like that. I mean, I think it's okay. I think the first two were definitely my favorite, but this was, this was still fun. And it wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. So there we go. There are our other two animals. Thank you all so much for watching the video. I really hope you guys liked it and I hope you learned something. If you want me to do more tutorials like this in the future with different animals, please comment below and I'll start making a list if this is something you guys are interested in. It's a challenge for me, but for some reason, maybe it's just today, things actually turned out well and I am kind of interested in doing more of them. So please let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of these videos with your suggestions. And that's about it. Hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!